So this is going to be the, this is the third and last video of Splague Tactics that I'm going to do for you guys because Splague, you know, it's a pretty common sense game once you play it enough times. So we got uh, all that. I do have 46,000, you know. I, I do rate people by points. Uh, you know, points don't mean skill, but uh, it's just a good general assumption for how much that person has played. And, you know, if you play more, you know more. You know the 10,000 hour rule, so there's that. Do, do, do. So this one, okay. So this one to explain this one. You should always be in this quadrant because being in those quadrants you have a high probability of either falling to that ring bot or just falling out of the map entirely. So you always want to be moving. Don't don't shoot again. But you always want to stay in this first quadrant so you have a high probability of jumping to mid. And these people are not shooting so I have to instigate something. It means I have to instigate. Ooh, okay. So I barely, I barely hit mid, but I uh, actually do make it to bot, and it's better bot than mid. I would rather be in bot than mid, you know. So again, same tactic as before. Uh, it also could be due to my lag right now. I have, uh, you know, 30 FPS. It's not the best. I normally run on 60 or the sort, but you know. Uh, Predicting trajectory paths of people are very important. Predicting paths where people might be is very important. I'm going to introduce you to trailing right now, which is um, uh, shooting beneath your feet, but having a path, a general path, uh, always shooting a bit in front of you so you know that you're not jumping right into a hole. It's called trailing. A lot of people do it, you know, going like this, blah, blah, blah. It's not that hard. Uh, it's not hacking. It's just a tactic so that people, it's harder for people to follow you. That's all. And see this guy? He's distracted. I'm going to bomb him like that. I'm going to run towards him and I'm going to shoot at his feet. I'm going to tr predict his trajectory path, you know? So, you know, he's close to me. I don't like being close to him. I'm going to come around and circle and come back to him, you know? Bomb him again. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to circle around, bomb him again. So this is playing the long game. This is playing the long game with him. So I do hear eggs. So that means, you know, maybe I should trail. Oh my god. Maybe I should trail, but he is following me. So that is good indication that I might have to trail. Because if I trail, you know... There's a guy over there. I'm gonna try and predict, but no. Nope. He chooses a different path. Okay. It's fine. You know, I try and get him again. This is a different guy. Doesn't work. And in this case, I like to, you know, since he is obviously very aggressive, one tactic I can use is, you know, just keep following him, because it annoys him. He's pretty accurate, you know? So now that I've scared him off, I can run in the other way. You know, prepare for another confrontation. Because he doesn't like that, so he's going to run away. Which means I can run away. There's still a guy on top. and Oh, he's back again. Okay, I make him fall. So he, he, was, he was asking for it there, because there wasn't much of a path for him to follow. So I only needed to destroy his path and he was done for. That's what happens. You shouldn't really uh, pick dangerous paths on bot. So I'm going to try and predict. I'm going to go past her. It confuses her. And then I'm going to go back. Try and predict. And try and predict. Doesn't work. Oh, okay. Alright, I fall. Third place. Alright. Not bad at all for a guy who, you know, 
literally just, you know, hit button. Actually, oh, first place did. Oh, man. Uh, first place was uh, the guy up mid. So, yeah, elevation uh, obviously is a huge advantage. And uh, it's good to note that. Well, that's it for the Splug series. You know, I won two games, two in a row the first time, and then with lag. And then I got, like, what, fifth or fourth, and then third. So it's not bad. Always top five. Uh, oh, yeah, the, the the third game was fourth. So, you know, not bad overall. Um, using my strategies, uh, it's really hard for you to not place uh, in the top ten. It, it's really hard if you just, you know, use your common sense. Um, pick your battles wisely. Be smart with how you're running. And also, you have to have good... Uh, parkour sense, as I would say. You have to know how to jump between blocks and not, you know, fuck up and die. So there's that. End of my Splike series. Thanks a lot.